Hey everybody, it's a little red. I went to see mom this morning. What in the F? I, I mean, I've got it pulled up everywhere. We can watch it on screen. Or we can, y'all, I ain't gonna make this shit up. I'm gonna give y'all a highlight. Amber Corwood got picked on, on Instagram. I don't think that getting called ugly and fat bothers her because we've actually seen her fat and skinny many different times. And we actually saw her beating on Gary while calling him a fat fuck. So I don't think it bothers her at all. But the episode started with her almost in tears, it looked like, talking to a producer about an IG female coming at her calling her fugly and ugly and fat. And it hurt her feelings. It made her feel really, really bad. And I get that. But fast forward to like the next scene and she's asking Gary, can, um, <laughs> she's such a great moron. Um, she's ask, telling Gary that Boo Boo, whatever they call her, um, mentioned IG to her. She's already saying that the, the kid has anxiety out of hell and she's getting bullied. She um, had Katie Joy coming at her um, over IG trying to get her locked up because she used IG wrong. So she asked Gary for permission to let their nine-year-old get IG. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, fast forward over into the world of Ryan Edwards and uh, Mackenzie. <laughs> um... I guess that Ryan didn't know what PCOS was, even though his baby mama has had it for years. Um, so he is completely wasted off his ass, in my opinion, allegedly. And he asked her, what is PCOS? And why does it need its own month? Yes, she did. He did. I was so high. Or drunk, or we, I don't know what it was. Let's ask um, Katie Joy, since she's such a fan of his. Um, he could not hardly get a sentence out. He said, why does it need his whole month? And she said, for awareness. Like, cancer has a month. And for awareness. And then he needed a definition and a sentence with the word awareness in it to understand what the hell it meant. Um, and this is just completely in, in a different land. Uh, um, what else? Uh, oh, my God. Mackenzie, number two. Mackenzie and Josh. Mackenzie has literally been breaking up and then begging Josh back for every season she's been on the show. Um, the last three weeks, she's been begging him, basically, on the phone with him. Do you want to be married? Do you want to be married? Do you want to be married? Um, do you want a divorce? Do you want to be married? Fuck you, I'm not going to, um, I'm not staying here. And she just basically wants him to want her. And not want anyone else. And when he does that, she doesn't want him anymore. Well, the last three weeks, he wouldn't tell her he wanted to be married to her. He wouldn't tell her he loved her. He wouldn't tell her anything. When she asked him to go to Florida, he said, I don't want to be stuck down there with a bitch. Okay, so last episode, last night, he actually says to her, I can't go without you another year. I miss you. I miss the kids. Florida ain't my place. But I'm coming for you, girl. Without missing a beat, Miss Tang said, Um, I'm good on that. I don't want you here yet. I need to heal. Maybe later. And then I don't know what happened. Like, are you kidding me? You're joking, right? You can't make this yet up. Oh, and Cheyenne's pregnant. Not up. Um, because, you know, Corey did it, so she has to do it again. But she's known him forever. That works out great. I've done that. Been there, done that. You know what it got me? A whole ass headache. For years. Like, you don't do that. Bad news bears. You get with some stranger that you've never met. That's what you do. You don't get knocked up by some some dude you grew up with. Okay, so she's pregnant and yeah, she's gonna be mom. Kaylin wants to be a classy um salon and she wants to practice on brows a couple more times. I can't with this motherfucker. I mean, apparently anyone can do the brows. They literally went to the first view of school and they had her tattooing brows on something. She don't want no damn job. She knows she's working on getting knocked up. She knows she's going to get pregnant and she ain't going to be able to work. Maybe she wants to buy a salon and let Tyler run it and she'll say it's hers. I might, I might. My eyes might get stuck in the back of my head. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's Mackenzie. Um, but it ain't the one. It ain't the one. This is where she's like, the first kiss in Florida. And she's like, um, yay, Florida. And it's late at night in the dark when she's driving tonight. And he's like, I love you. Oh, here we go. Amber's crying. Let's talk. Ow! Amber's crying because someone cut her fast. Like, she gives a damn about what's in my face. The one thing I like about her, she posted a picture right after her and James split. And she looks really skinny in the picture. She posted that picture and someone called her a fugly, fat, ugliest thing in the world or something. I don't know. Women are hateful. Two questions. Is that her adoption person, Dawn, that's showing her the liquor store to buy? Is Dawn a... Is she like a, um, does she moonlight as a, as a freaking real estate agent? And she's a deduction specialist? Or is that just not her? And secondly, she wants a, a salon with some curb appeal. Let's listen. I can't with this new people. MTV is so dead set on keeping this dead ass show on the air. They literally manufacture these girls' stories every season. Like, um, 
My big fat fabulous wife says she is 300, 400 pounds because she has PCOS. Macy weighs 90, a buck five tops. Has three full kids. Um, the big fat fabulous white wife can't get pregnant and weighs four Macy. Make it, make it. I don't think that's the adoption lady, but it looks like her name. So she just, um, they've got a lot of money because they're not paying their taxes, right? They bought how many houses now? Three? She's an idiot. Um, so they bought the, the Octagon house or the, the stop sign house, the Fiesta Dada house that they're in now, and the house that his sister tore all the hell pieces. I'm trying to think what. I'm trying to think if there's another house. Um, a horse, a pig. She had plans, y'all. And Cheyenne's just thirsty. Like, Corey, I want to be with you, but if not, then I'm just going to get pregnant. And Mason is, I love, I love Bentley, but she needs to cut his mullet. I ain't no party happening back there. It looks like a squirrel, actually, because it's like a mohawk to grow up. It looks like a wild rabbit squirrel. Why is she running? Why would anybody run for fun? I don't get it. This woman out here, she didn't want it. She didn't want him. She told everybody he did her cousin. Um, then she said she was wrong. That didn't happen. Then she said, do you want to be with me? Do you want to be with me? Do you want to be with me? And he was like, no, no, no. Sure enough, I don't. And uh, I ain't going to Florida either because you're a bitch. And then that was last week. And she said, fuck you, I'm leaving. I'm not coming back. And um, today, I, got, I love you. I can't be without you for a year. And she's like, oh, I love you too. That's all we want. You just want us. And he says, I'm coming for you, girl. And she says, no, don't. I need to heal. I don't need you to heal. I want to feel secure that you don't want anyone else. So there's no better way to do that than keep you 900 miles away from me, right? Yeah. I want to make sure you're not cheating on me, so don't come two days drive away from me, too. I want to heal. They're so full of shit. I don't think her and him have maybe been together for three years, and they're just milking this show. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. No, I'm joking. I ain't got there yet. I, there's more. And I'm probably going to turn this video off. Because I'm like, what's in the TV? Yay, we're pregnant! Okay, they went to look at houses. They got a real estate agent to call them with houses last week. And she called with something they need to look at because they're, they're not staying on the market very long. And if you want to get a house, you got to get moving. She hung up and said, how about you just move here in my parents' house with me, my sister's house with me for six months while I'm pregnant. Do y'all want to place a wager that she got back with him because she got knocked up on a one-night stand with him because they like to hook up. And when, her, when she had her first kid, she thought it was Zach's kid, and she never told Corey she was pregnant until she had to. And of course, her dumbass sister's happy to death that she's pregnant because that's what you do. You just have babies whenever you date. That's what you do. That's how you be. Now, Kel wants to do facial treatments. I'll ask her to She sent her calling. She wants to do it right and take her time, which means she'll be knocked up way into her pregnancy before she gets a move on. Here's our hometown. I don't like Mackenzie, y'all. I don't. Who the hell wants to move to Florida in the summertime? I've never been there, but I know I don't want to go in the summertime. If she can live like that in Florida for six months, why is she living like... Well, I guess it's her, her marital home that she's living in. In her state. What'd she just say? Did she just say... And she said buying a furnished house. She's going there for six months to a year and she bought a house. I don't think so. And she just said buying. We know they lie. If she bought that, house, let me Google that shit. Yo, I know my cursy words. My, my potty mouth's gotten worse um, the last few days. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think the team moms have drove me out my mind. There's some, there's some Twitter stuff going on that's irritating the fuck out of me. <clears throat> what am I looking? Did Mackenzie buy? Okay, how she wanted was for him to come out. I can't stand her. Like, she don't want that married. Uh-oh. Y'all. <laughs> I wonder if she can spell Sarasota. MTV needs to let it go. Maybe they could have a 16 and pregnant come a good one. Like, some new bitches that aren't entitled and rich and, and spoiled.